Good morning. Look where we are. Um, I have a beautiful home in the, in the southwest, uh, in Calgary. There's a few of us that share space. We're, we're you know, a bunch of guys in recovery. It's beautiful. And uh, a beautiful yard. And so I hope this summer to just take as much advantage of this yard as possible, including, hi Tessa, including, oh, look at the squirrels racing. Uh, so many squirrels, a deer come in. We, behind me, you can't really see it, but behind me, maybe you can, we've, we've put in a garden and uh, it's, uh, it's just starting to come up. I think, has it been a week? A little over a week we put it in and it's just coming up. It's quite, quite a lot of fun. Now we have to, to uh, somehow keep the deer out of it. <laughs> anyway, those are first world problems. You know, how do I keep the deer out of my garden? Uh, maybe, they're, uh, maybe that's a global problem. Um, so I've been reading this book, this one day uh, or 24 hour a day book for today will be 29 days and uh, it's been interesting it's just kind of a I don't know the mind is so crazy my mind uh, wants to make meaning out of it why am I doing this you know <coughs> will people be you know somebody will be inspired will I be inspired hi Kathy Lynn and, and uh, you know, the trick for me is to watch the mind struggling to make meaning. It just does. And, uh, and to let go, to really recognize that I don't know anything really. And, and uh, you know, um, so we live in a, in a world where the mind is trying to do, uh, to live by cause and effect. If I do this, this will happen. If I do that, then it'll happen. And uh, as if we know, we don't know. And so, um, ultimately, I, the only thing I can say as to why we're doing this is it to be in service. But we don't know, you know, who in the recovery world, who in the world will benefit, if anybody will benefit, maybe if only I benefit. <laughs> Here we go, and I, I love to do it. So it's May 29th, and the way that it's set up in this little book is that we have the thought for the day, and, uh, and then we have the meditation for the day, and we have a prayer for the day. And, you know, I, I think that people who are attracted to come back and, and listen to this on a daily basis, and lots of people do, you know, um, you know I mean, every, every day, two or three hundred, people will watch this and it I think that those who do are interested in in consciousness interested in spiritual growth interested in awareness interested in God interested in in you know being of service feeling better about ourselves you know so many of us suffer from um, not good enoughism and uh, um, you know, uh, uh, living in, in a low grade, sometimes a low grade fear. So this is for, for those people, for us, and uh, who are looking inside and outside to, um, to become more whole. And uh, surrender of the mind is the way, by the way. Surrender of the mind. Be conscious of it first as we become conscious of our mind and it's you know making up stories and, and telling us things that we are for sure this is real anyway here we go May 29th thought for the day we have learned to put our drink problem in God's hands we have learned to put our drink problem in God's hands can help others to do so oh I see so if we're putting our drink problem in God's hands, that can also help others to do so. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, we can be used as a connection between an alcoholic's mind and God's supply of strength. Yes. Hey, Joseph. Good morning, buddy. Yeah, nice to see you. Say hello. We're talking to uh, uh, about recovery. And uh, the 24-hour day book, we've been reading it for 
today's 29 days. This seems like we've been doing it forever. Uh, we can be used as a connection between an alcoholic's need and God's supply of strength. We, in AA, or in the 12-step world, can be uniquely useful just because we had have the misfortune or fortune to be alcoholics ourselves. Um, do I, and the question is, do I want to be uniquely useful, a uniquely useful person? Will I use my greatest defeat and failure and sickness as a weapon to help others? Didn't we read that yesterday? You read the 28th yesterday. Did I? Okay, it's very similar. The 29th is very similar. You know. Yeah, yeah, it is very similar. So the question that goes with the thought for the day is, will I use my own greatest defeat and failure and sickness as a weapon to help others? Yes. Nice. Meditation for the day. I will help others. I will not let a day pass without reaching out an arm of love to someone. Each day, I will do something to lift another human being out of the sea of discouragements into until into which he or she has fallen. My helping hand is needed to raise the helpless to courage, to strength, to faith, to health. In my own gratitude, I will turn and help another alcoholic with the burden that is pressing too heavily on him or her. And the prayer for the day, I pray that I may be used by God to lighten many burdens. I pray that many souls may be helped through my efforts. There you go. So that's the, uh, the thought for the day. And then the... Uh, Meditation for the day. So do you guys meditate? Um, what happens for me uh, with meditation? It's grown. Uh, my, my understanding of meditation has grown. My practice has grown. And, uh, um, and so in that is the, I've kind of let go of the idea I think that, that we need a, a scheduled time. I've always thought that, or a time when we meditate in the morning. And, uh, uh, but then I think that meditation can, can become like a moment-to-moment -moment practice where we're stopping and watching every moment our thoughts and dropping in with the breath, dropping in using the breath into a meditation no matter where we are. But practice in the morning gives us that insightfulness or that awareness of ourselves, you know, in uh, self-realization is, is through being alone with ourselves and being quiet, alone and quiet. Hmm. Okay, here's to aloneness and quietness. Mm, good coffee this morning. Okay, love you guys. So that's the that's the deal. We'll talk soon. Enjoy the day. What was it? Happy, joyous, and free. Enjoy the day. Happy, joyous, and free. And uh, in the service that we talked about, I the, the little phrase I coined the other day was be be an ambassador of love. Happy, joyous, and free ambassador of love I think if we're ambassadors of love we become happy joyous and free okay love you lots thanks bye